Hey, it's Colleen with Rope Resellers. I'm here for another sales update of what I sold on eBay and Amazon merch for the week of May 6th through the 12th, 2019. Okay, I had eight things sell, and uh, if it weren't for swords, I would be a hurt unit because usually I've been averaging 13 to 14 items sold a week, so I'm down about five items. And what did sell that weren't swords were pretty low dollar items. So let's take a look. First thing was a uh, Lacoste. Uh, polo made in France so it's probably vintage is my guess uh, anyway it was an XXL 2XL which is always a good size to have and that sold for $14.99 I collected $19.18 cost me a dollar at a thrift store $2.61 for eBay and PayPal fees $4.19 to ship it so my total profit on this was $11.38. It took five months to sell. Okay, so here's a sword from my dad's estate again. This was an Italian sword from World War II. This was a fairly generic sword. It wasn't in the best of conditions. There were there were ones that were in better. All of the swords from my dad's estate, they they sat out in a sunroom in a in a central coast, California, which is a really salty area. And so uh, they got pretty rusted. I'm not sure that he didn't buy them rusted. He told me he had, you know, anywhere from 40 to to $100 invested in each of these. So really they haven't appreciated that much because he's been gone for like 10 years already. So, or not even that long, I guess like seven years. But um, anyway, so this is uh, an Italian sword. It sold for $104.50, which was kind of a mistake I actually listed this and it sold almost immediately and I forgot that I had 5% off my whole store. So it actually sold a little bit cheaper than I had wanted, but you know, what's $5.50? It doesn't matter. Anyway, 122.11 is what I collected. I didn't spend on anything on it. 15.01 in fees, 17.09 in shipping for a total profit of $90.01 and it sold that day. It's one thing I got to say about military stuff in general or swords or uh, you know that kind of thing they if you price it right you can sell it right away so anyway justin men's uh 7.5 ee so it's a really pretty hard size to sell uh western boots um they're lizard so i don't pick up any cowboy boots and i actually haven't picked up any in a long time because they're asking 45 dollars in goodwill for these boots so there's no profit to be made great if you want somebody's old boots but as far as resale there's really they've figured that one out even in the thrift store I go to that has less expensive prices they're still asking 35 40 dollars for cowboy boots they just they everybody thinks they're worth hundreds and they're they're really not these sold for 47.49 I collected 57.52 I didn't pay anything for these these came from a neighbor that's why they're such an odd size I would never pick them up normally or pay money for them 7.24 for eBay and PayPal fees, 9.73 shipping, total profit on these, $40.55, and they took two years to sell, probably because of the size. So here's another sword. Um, my goal is to do two swords a week. This has a snake skin, which kind of freaked me out actually a little bit when I <laughs> did my research and found out that that's what that was. But again, here it's very rusted. Um, this would be a valuable sword if it were in better condition. This is also, um, if it was Austro-Hungarian Empire only and not a Czech market. So this marking here, I, I don't know if anybody's interested in this, but uh, this actually is a is a distributor in Czechoslovakia at the time. And so these were used by the Czech army during World War One, I, I believe, maybe World War Two. And um, the blade had condition issues. There were there was rusting and bubbling. Um, so anyway, it sold for 145. Someone offered me 145 dollars. My husband was here at the time, and so uh, we just decided that that was probably a good thing just to have the money. So I took it. 160.59 is what I collected. I didn't spend anything on it, and my total profit was 128.22 and it took only a day to sell. Here's a ruptured duck, another one. This is actually a lapel pin, so you stick it inside the buttonhole, I think, on your lapel. Uh, it sold 
$24.99 is what it sold for. I collected $7.95. I spent about 25 cents on this. I bought a big bag of buttons and men's jewelry at an estate sale last year. So my total profit on this was $3.48 and it took four months to sell. Here's something I picked up actually at the bins in California, a new bins that I went to in um, Santa Rosa. And I had the girl weigh them ahead of time because I wasn't sure. My daughter actually found these. She's like, Mom, look at these cool rubber high tops. And I was like, oh, those are cool. I've never seen those before. So I'm standing in line waiting to check out. And um, I look them up really quick. And I knew that I could probably sell them for $35, 40 bucks. So when she weighed them, they were four, it was $4.50 for these, way by the pound. And I thought, oh, well, I'll just take a chance. And they sold relatively fast. So I'm glad I did that now. That was like sort of a last minute purchase and it was probably the best thing that I bought that day. They, it wasn't super great when I went. Uh, so I collected $52.59. These went to the Netherlands, which is kind of cool. Again, I spent $4.50 and my total profit was $27.72. It took a week to sell. So those went pretty fast. These were, they were cool. I liked those. And the last thing I sold... Um, that I'm going to show you is, are these Carhartt overalls? They were definitely ranch wear. I bought these at, uh, the estate sale I went to a couple weeks ago where it was just, uh, pick stuff out of the box, but it definitely was, I mean, this guy had wiped his pants on them and they had holes down by the knees and I took pictures and I explained all that, but, um, and I showed good close up pictures with measurements from Sizely, which I can't recommend those guys enough. They've been awesome. Uh, $34.99 is what they sold for. I collected $42.58. I spent about $3 uh, average on these at the estate sale, and my total profit was $26.14, and they only took three days to sell, so that was pretty good. Okay, looking at the numbers, um, actually one last thing I was going to mention, I did have a return, so I've included that. I did get some fees back, but not all the fees, so uh, I had to refund $9.08. This was a wired uh, mouse and they just didn't look at the pictures and they didn't read the description and maybe I should have just put in the title that the wire was had a break in it but um, it worked anyway I wrote them a polite letter saying you know I'll be nice I'll refund you but in the future when you purchase things on eBay make sure that you are looking at the pictures thoroughly and you read the description thoroughly uh, because some sellers are not going to be as kind and and will fight you on this. So I, I was good, but I was trying to do a little education. They didn't have a lot of feedback. I think it was under 100. So um, anyway, you're welcome for educating the greater eBay marketplace with a billion users. Uh, and then the last thing, I started a new eBay store uh, just for postcards because I'm I'm trying out some things and... I don't want to charge for a package because it's like $2.66 just to send the cheapest first class package up to four ounces. So I'm just using a stamp and I found this other uh, site that'll let you put, that'll, you print out the envelope and then it lets you, then it puts a tracking number on it and then you just enter that tracking number. So since that was going to potentially risk my top rated seller, which I didn't really want to lose, I'm just making a website for or a eBay store just for paper stuff that I can ship relatively inexpensively. So I literally put a 55 cent stamp on it this morning with a tracking number, which uh, it's a free trial. I'll let you know how that goes. I'll do a, I'll do a video in a couple weeks if this works out because it could be a good solution. It's about 20, 20 cents to stick uh, if you buy enough of them to put a tracking label on there. If anybody has any other suggestions, let me know. But so that sold and my total profit on that postcard, this is the first thing I've sold. I've only got 10 items up there, so I'm doing pretty good. Uh, 336 is what that sold for. So anyway, uh, merch, not super awesome. Uh, made 26.91 with five shirts and one pop socket. So my total, so uh, 398 for everything on eBay, 425, 36 was my total e-commerce. So the only reason why this week did okay was because of those swords, which sold fairly quickly and I made decent money. Everything else was kind of meh, you know, not exciting, not really super remarkable. Uh, but I did spend a little bit of time this week figuring out how to open a new eBay store. So I spent my Monday and kind of Tuesday ramping that up a little bit. Now I have a system for scanning in postcards and getting that ball rolling because at the one estate sale I bought 
probably 250 to 300 postcards and I was just gonna try to list them as I go through. There's also some photo negatives which I'm not really sure how to list there so I'm gonna do a little more research before I try to do that. Like there was one in there that had a Cary Grant who is from Montana negatives and I don't know if they just took a picture in the movie theater or if they were actually on set. It's not a full size negative because the negatives are like this big and and it was just a little square within it so I have a feeling it was a picture of something else but I, there's a way to scan it and develop it and do all that so I'll, I'll do a little more research on that one but that was that was fairly exciting because I do know that negatives of movie stars sell a lot better than some of the generic like family barbecue negatives but there are also a lot of uh, Indian uh, Native American photos from gatherings because this is Montana and there is a large native population and they have um, you know powwows and things like that and so uh, these were from I believe the 50s or 60s a lot of these photos so that could be kind of exciting as well um, but anyway so I just decided to open another store just to not worry about charging a lot of money for shipping because that's the only way to be competitive in that market because the margins are really small like you make a dollar or two but it also it's also so fast like I can list I can list something in five or ten minutes it's so easy so I don't really mind that I'm listing things for not very much money I'm trying to set up a pipeline as scavenger life loves to say uh, if you haven't checked those guys out they have a podcast every week they're on YouTube but they also have their own channel with a forum with a lot of great discussion uh, anyway, they talk about setting up their pipeline, so this is my postcard pipeline on a whole separate eBay channel. So anyway, with that, I hope you guys are getting out there, finding good stuff at estate sales. I would say go ahead and pay up for stuff. It's getting uh, to be the slow time of year, so you want to have things in your store that get people excited and draw traffic to your store so that you can make at least a few sales. And with that... Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like or subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.